So Jess, I want to show you one more exercise of that. That one we did on the table is probably enough for you, but if you need further inhibition or any of your clients need further inhibition, this can be a good way to do it. First though, I, we need to talk about the hip flexor stretch and how people mess it up. So what they do, can you just push your hips forward? Yes, okay. <laughs> so this is considered a hip flexor stretch by a lot of people and it's not your hip flexor that you're stretching, it's the anterior ligaments of your hip. So you're actually creating pathology at the front of the hip to buy fake hip extension. And some of that motion comes from the back and you, you're just developing instability. Okay, so the way we need to do this is first of all, don't ever do that. But second of all, what we need to do is we need to position the rib cage and the pelvis so that they're opposing each other and so that they're stable and then we can pull on that hip flexor. So first step, give me a big exhale. Bring your ribs down. Yes, roll your hips back. Good job. Do you feel a stretch in the front of that hip? Yeah. Okay, hold there. You're gonna grab the stick, you're gonna push it into the ground, you're gonna try to rip it apart and that's gonna help turn your abs on a little bit more. And You still feel that stretch? Yep. He's a little hunched over, uh, but all he's getting is, is a little bit of rectus abdominis more than he needs to, but right now I'm okay with that because maybe he's got really stiff hip flexor. Cool?